Welcome to this new educational video from Dr. J. Dev Panchavat on spinal cord tumor symptoms. What is a spinal tumor? The brain and spinal cord are located inside the skull and backbone respectively. The spinal cord is actually the continuation of the brain and the backbone protects the spinal cord as it comes down from the brain. The spinal cord has three coverings or membranes. These are the outermost dura mater, the middle arachnoid mater and the innermost pia mater. So the spinal tumors could be outside the dura when they are called extradural tumors, inside the dura but outside the arachnoid when they are called intradural extramedullary tumors and they are called intramedullary if they are present inside the spinal cord. Let us once again see the coverings of the spinal cord. The innermost is the pia, the middle is the arachnoid and the outermost is the dura. So, a tumor which is present outside the dura mater is an extradural tumor. If it is present inside the dura but outside the spinal cord, it is called an intradural extramedullary tumor. If the tumor arises within the spinal cord, it is called intramedullary tumor. Now let us see what are the symptoms of spinal tumor. Primarily, these tumors can cause back pain, which can become worse at night. The pain may radiate to other parts of the body like the hands and legs depending on the location of the tumor. They may also present with loss of sensation or reduced sensation in either the hands or legs or sometimes even the chest wall at the abdominal wall area. Patients may not feel much sensation when they are holding objects or walking. This may also cause reduced muscle power in either the hands or legs which may manifest as weakness. The patients typically complain that they are unable to lift a cup or write well or even walk properly. More ominous symptoms are a change or loss of bowel and bladder function which means the patient loses control over their urinary and stool functions. Sometimes there is incontinence and at other times there is bladder retention or stool retention. That means they are unable to pass stools. So if these symptoms are ignored and the spinal cord tumor is left untreated, it could lead to paralysis of the hands or legs or both depending on the location of the tumor. So how is a spinal tumor diagnosed? The basic diagnosis and the gold standard is MRI. So the MRI lets us know whether the tumor is in the neck area, the chest wall area or the lower back area. They are called cervical, thoracic or lumbar tumors. They also let us know whether it is extradural, intradural extramedullary or intramedullary tumor. This location of the tumor is important for prognostication. So how do we treat spinal tumors? Most of the tumors are excised completely. Occasionally, based on the medical history of the patient, just a biopsy may be necessary to determine the nature of the tumor. A complete excision is most of the times possible. Occasionally, when complete excision is not possible, this may be followed by radiation and or chemotherapy based on the biopsy report. Many of our patients ask us, is there any role for alternative medicine in treatment of spinal tumors? So these alternative uh, medicine types are generally not known to cure either cancers or even benign tumors, but they can certainly help to reduce the pain. So if the patient so wishes, this may be a supportive treatment rather than the mainstay of treatment of a spinal cord tumor. 
I hope you all liked this video and could understand some more about spinal cord tumors. If you or your near and dear ones have a spinal cord tumor, please visit a neurosurgeon to find out what choices you have and what treatment options are acceptable to you. Please note down our numbers and like, share and subscribe to our channel.